what's up we gamers the kid here and i've been requested to do this for a while by some of you guys conduit 2 versus call of duty specifically black ops uh or just in general the uh call of duty series now call of duty uh conduit 2 isn't out yet so but I pretty much know how it'll play. It'll play a lot like the first one. The first one had good mechanics and good physics and all that. Um, Conduit 2 is having a larger perk system than um, that of Call of Duty. And it's looking very, very cool, in fact. Now... I'll tell you about Call of Duty, because I do have Call of Duty Black Ops. And I can really say one thing to define Call of Duty Black Ops, and just Call of Duty in general. It kind of sucks. I mean, it's fun, but it has that, that factor of, oh my god, this is fun, and then, oh my god, come on. That it's just, you know, so cheap. There is a serious balancing issue in this game that cannot be ignored. One of the balancing issues are the, uh, the, uh, you know, the kill streaks. The kill streaks can basically make the whole entire death match one sided completely and it's not like you get one kill streak you can select up to three and that consists of air strike attack dogs and um turrets and some of them just really don't seem any fair it really doesn't i mean i know there is a bare bones uh where no one can have that but at the same time you know Either way, the game just seems kind of flat. To be honest, Call of Duty isn't all I thought it would be. I heard it was a great shooter, and it just really isn't. I mean, say the guns. The guns have, like, some of the worst hit detection I've ever seen in a... In a uh, a, a shooter I mean seriously it's 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 not even funny it's not even funny I mean there are going to be times where you are pointing at someone dead center and you're shooting them and they take about your whole rack of bullets and still are not dead and manages to kill you before they uh, before you kill them and what's crazy about it, sometimes the person can be completely turned around and hit you with a couple of shots and you're dead. But with them, some say it's lag. No, it's not lag. It's just horrible hit detection. There's also some huge, you know, glitches for this hit detection, like like going around a corner, actually running from someone's bullets, going around a corner and then somehow dying from their bullets some people say it's lag no it's not lag it's just horrible hit detection really people really do kill you while you're around the entire freaking uh the entire freaking corner which is very cheap there are very uh a lot of cheap ways to die in this game the weapons are unbalancing how in the freaking world does a knife beat a machine gun? I mean, think about it. How does that even how is that even possible? You mean to tell me your Mei Li kills you in one hit with one knife? If you guys are completely um uh if you guys aren't complete morons on how uh, soldiers wear armor and stuff. Soldiers do wear armor. They they wear, 
you know, uh, bulletproof vests. Even if you had a pretty good knife, in a real war, one slash will not kill anyone. I doubt it even cut to their skin. I mean, there are some sharp knives, but really, one, one little slice won't kill them. Even throwing a knife wouldn't even kill them. I mean, unless it was at their head. Now, this is ve a very annoying feature because it's it's just very unfair. Like, there's people who come at you with uh, trying to kill you with a knife while you're shooting at them. And then only to find out that while you're shooting at them, they actually managed to kill you by slashing you. And it just feels down unfair because it's like, come on, one one slice from a knife and I'm dead and I'm shooting you? Seriously, how cheap can you get? Also, there's another unbalanced uh, weapon is the dogs. The dogs are just, you know, really, I have all this armor on and one bite from a dog is going to kill me it's not like all the dogs pile up on you and stuff it's one dog one dog and he kills you with one bite come on that is just ridiculous that's not even fair i mean seriously and then the weapons i mean the controls are fairly good but at the same time it's like they didn't get it right i mean my god um and the the kill streaks are just plain cheap the the uh the helicopter shooting at you from the air yeah you have some defense from it but you know seriously you can shoot them down but at the same time it's just not fair it really isn't that's what I think Conduit 2 comes up when it comes to to variety of weapons. The weapons basically are the same weapons in every game. I mean, seriously, I'm not even lying. They're the same weapon in every game. Um, the weapons of Conduit 2 and just the Conduit series have just been vastly way more variety and just way better in effect and to be honest the hit detection was good in con the conduit and it most likely will be good in conduit 2 since i've seen some uh multiplayer gameplay uh posted by nintendo world report which gave everybody a good feeling how it's gonna work um you know really black ops and call of duty for the matter is not what it's cocked up to be it's really just a very cheap shooter with cheap deaths and you know it's kind of unacceptable i mean really it is just unacceptable for a shooter i mean there are way better shooters that don't have nearly as much unbalanced features as this does i mean you you have to worry about so many things you have to worry about people's kill streaks uh rcs blowing you up you have to worry about claymores you have to worry about people shooting at you you have to worry about helicopters shooting at you you have to worry about people getting too close to you to kill you with one hit you just have to worry about too many things and really it's just a very complicated shooter and really it's not the type of complicated shooter where it's good. It's a complicated shooter where it's nothing fun about it at some times. This is my scenario that I go through with Call of Duty. First, I'm like, oh my god, this game is pretty fun. Hmm, this game is alright. And then some and then it clicks to me like that that this game is just completely cheap in deaths and just in general. Now, what Conduit 2 is doing, yes, they have upgrades. Yes, you'll be able to do certain things with your upgrades, but there's so many upgrades that cancel out each other, it makes it balanced. You see what I mean? It makes it way more balanced. So, that's what Call of Duty don't have. 
It doesn't have. It only has a few things that cancel out other people's kill streaks or perks. But other than that, it really doesn't. It has about one or two things, or maybe three. But like I said, it's just really. It's just really, really pretty sad shooter. I mean, I was very disappointed. I mean, it's fun, but some, at some point, it does tend to get tedious when you're starting to have a lot of cheap deaths racking up and a lot of, you know, unfair uh, deaths that, like, shooting people and then you're somehow dying faster than they are, and it just gets cheap, and really, I know it's all realistic and stuff, but you get killed in, like, three bullets, I mean, come on, I mean, I play other shooters where you die in at least half a round of bullets, which, you know, it it makes it more playable, makes it more, you know, it gives you a freaking chance, not all these, oh, three bullets, even though you're going to spend a whole round, you know, you're going to die, and, you know, like Conduit, Conduit actually gives you a chance, you don't die nearly as fast as you do in in Call of Duty, the only way you would die as fast as Call of Duty, if someone is just getting nothing but headshots on you, other than that, you have a pretty good chance of surviving uh attack by at least two people at once. In Call of Duty, there's no chance. You're just raped. You're on the ground and you're just raped. There's no there's no surviving. Also in Conduit, a uh grenade doesn't kill you uh in just one shara. It takes at least two to kill you. Be, uh, which makes sense. I mean, Conduit 2, it's set in the near future. And they have, you know, better armor and stuff that gives you, you know, the ability to, you know, not die from one blast. Which makes sense. But at the same time, um, it's way more balanced. It's just way more balanced, guys. And I'm sorry to say to Call of Duty fans, but... Call of Duty kind of sucks. It's it's not it's a good shooter from people's perspectives, but from what I've seen, a lot of people really think Call of Duty is just going downhill. I, I played the some of the first Call of Duties and they were pretty good. I liked it them, but these ones these ones are just starting to get tedious, and they're just starting to get very unfair and annoying. And I'm sorry to say, guys, but I, I kind of feel sorry for myself. I, I wasted some of my money on this, $50 for this. This will probably be my last Call of Duty, actually. It's my first, not first play, first bought, but it just might be my last bought Call of Duty ever, unless something happens drastically with the with the settings and the the balancing. Now, Conduit 2 is looking way better than this. I mean, it's really, it's looking like a no competition almost. Um, all the perks, all the weapons, you know, the maps are just beautiful. And that's another thing that Call of Duty has. It actually has the pop-up effect on uh, the maps o- online. And there's actually pop-up effects with enemies. Like, you will be searching, you will be staring at an enemy dead in their face until it's too late when you move closer and finally seeing them and you die. Because it they suddenly popped up and you didn't see them, even though you was looking them square in their face, which I hate. That's another thing that uh, causes a cheap death. But so far, guys, it's looking like Conduit 2 is just going to completely rape, you know, Black Ops pretty badly. Because it's already looking better, and you know, but that's all I have to say, guys. Uh, And that's that Call of Duty kind of sucks. So, there you go, guys.